this episode, I had never given it a thought that fishing, even for fun, can actually be thrilling, as I learned, and later we see the equator on Lake Victoria. You hold here like this, you release it, push it, push it, yeah, so that you put it on water, yeah, the boat keep moving, you leave it. Have you ever tried out fishing while on a boat cruise? I was skeptical about the experience, but as we sailed on the lake, it became more thrilling and fun. I've just been taught how to fish, hoping we shall have dinner tonight if I catch one. Fishing is one of the activities that you can do at Ngamba Island, apart from chimpanzee watching. Ngamba being a home of chimpanzees, you will encounter them while on boat cruising. For photographers, this is the best spot to take pictures of chimpanzees while they are not in the cages. This is one of the great experiences uh, that we really give to the tourists uh, because uh, we have the, the main viewing platform where visitors can view uh, the chimps, um, but there's a fence in between. And many people have never seen chimps very close to the water, being an island. And also to have a very clear, natural look, as you can see the forest, and the chimps are really enjoying the shores. Uh, much as they don't swim, but they really, you have a, a great picture. In most cases, when you get people are, who want to get nice photos, and see chimps just without the wires, like when you see the outside. It's another a great experience we, we give the visitors so that they can get really very nice photos and a nice view of the chimpanzees. It costs a tourist, shillings 1.4 million, to spend a day and a night at Ngamba Island. But however, it is much cheaper when you visit in a group of four for the same amount. This inclusive transport from the set-off point at Waterfront Beach in Entebbe to Ngamba Island. The solution is to try encourage the Ugandans to come and visit Ngamba Island by also reducing on the cost in case we, they can cover up in the, when they come in big numbers than when you come as alone because you have to meet the cost of the boat which is remains expensive for one person. So those are the options that we can give. If you are this number, you pay this less so that you can catch up and come and have that nice experience. For tourists who prefer cottage accommodation for relaxing, taking holiday, name it, just try Ngamba Island. For all those who have ever gone to school, no one ever missed drawing that imaginary line which passes through Lake Victoria. The most interesting fact on the equator as you're coming from the south, where Ngamba Island is located, the water at this point rotates at clockwise. And in the north, where we are heading, the water rotates clockwise. 